If you buy the Curse of the Varos DLC, you get an option to boost your character to level 45, the max level of the Hidden Ones DLC, and then immediately play the new expansion. How does it work and what free gear and abilities do you get? Let's take a look in this video. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go! To play the new content added with the Curse of the Varos DLC, you need to be at least level 43 since the enemies you will fight start at level 45. Now if you finish the Hidden Ones DLC you will be level 45 but if you don't have that DLC or simply are not far enough into the game then you can use this new boost that you get if you have the Gold Edition Season Pass or buy the Curse of the Varrows separately. This will make a copy of your save file and put it on a new save slot. In this new save file your character will be level 45 and you already got some gear to stand a chance against the Varrows you will find in the new region. Good to note is that there are two new save slots added with the Curse of the Varrows DLC so that you don't have to delete one in order to use the boost. You can also boost every save you want and I would totally recommend you do so. Not only because you can then immediately access the new DLC which is really really good but also because the other missions you still need to complete in the main game can still be played with a challenge. This is simply thanks to the enemy scaling feature that will scale all the enemies to your level so even if you play a low level quest the enemies you will encounter will still be the level you are. And I think that the boost is also recommended if you are halfway through the game or haven't finished the main story yet and want to finish that first before going into the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC. Because when you do this boost you have suddenly access to the full open world without having to worry that you are under leveled, that you encounter enemies with a skill level because you will be level 45 so all the enemies will be skilled to your level as well because normally in the base game they will be lower than 45. And it also creates a separate save file so you can always choose to go back. So what does the boost give you apart from a level 45 character? So you keep all the stuff you already have, you become level 45 and you get all the hidden ones gear upgrades. So that you can immediately earn the new upgrades that will be added with the Curse of the Varrows DLC. I made a video showcasing all the new gear upgrades that you can watch by clicking on the screen. Apart from the gear upgrades you also get a new rare weapon for each weapon category on level 45. So 4 rare bows and a rare weapon for every melee weapon as well. Good to notice that all the Helix items you bought in the Helix store will automatically upgrade to level 45 as well so you can immediately use them and don't have to upgrade them. You also get a ton of ability points as much as you would get if you leveled all the way up. So when I boosted my character that was level 5 I gained 40 new ability points because I of course upgraded to level 45. If you are level 20, you get 25 new ability points, etc, etc. And yeah, that is about it. You get no new money or extra crafting resources and are still at the same point in the main story with the targets you need to kill. You can still progress the main story like I said where you left off or decide to immediately go to the Curse of the Varrows DLC. Apart from the level upgrade, I think the crafting upgrades are really the biggest thing you get. It saves a ton of time that you don't have to find some carbon crystals etc etc but can immediately focus on the new gear upgrades. You can start the boost as soon as you've been to the present day so after you completed the main story missions in Siwa so around level 5. They can go to the main menu and hold the triangle button to boost your save and it will create a new save on the same location but then you are level 45 and you get the things I talked about. So when you use the boost you can immediately access the curse of the Varrows via Memphis, Alexandria but also via Ziwa. So really if you just bought the game and thought oh the curse of the Varrows looks cool you get out of Ziwa so you are level 5, you play for 1 hour you can then immediately go to the Curse of the Varrows and then decide to go back to finish the main game. It's really up to you. I really think that overall this boost is amazing. It opens up the new content for way more people and also opens up Assassin's Creed Origins way more. So you can just go through the world, don't have to worry about higher level enemies attack you. So really a more free roam experience, just an overall better time. So totally do this boost if you are not level 45 yet. Again, you get it by buying the Curse of the Varrows DLC or if you have the Gold Edition or Season Pass. If you have the Season Pass or Gold Edition, of course, download the Curse of the Varrows before you can access this boost. I already finished the Curse of the Varrows. It's a really, really awesome expansion. Expect a ton of coverage up on the channel, so totally subscribe to stay up to date on that. Check, for example, a look at all the new gear upgrades and drop a like to support the channel. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.